So you might have already seen this, but brothers and sisters, about maybe a month ago, less than a month ago, they have come up with new different blood types. Science has discovered multiple new blood types that they never knew about, brothers and sisters. And brothers and sisters, what this is, is, is the spirit, what the things of the spirit and say, for, uh, for example, things that have lying dormant in people's DNA is coming to the surface. Okay. So um, there's things, you know, there's many different things in our bloodlines that are coming to the surface of things and the spirit that is in people is transforming them. And when that takes place, that also happens on a genetic, on a molecular uh, level. Brothers and sisters, what this new blood type is called is ER. It is called air. Air. And you take this stuff to the Lord, but I want to show you some scriptures that talk about air. In Matthew 22, 29, it says, And Jesus answered unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. And brothers and sisters, err was uh, back in the Old Testament. Um, he was, I believe, of the, the tribe of Judah. And err did what was wicked, and the Lord slayed him. Okay? Um also, when you look in like some of the prophet, uh, some of the prophets, like in, um, you know, Isaiah says, uh, my, uh, as for my people, children are their oppressors, women, women rule over them. Oh, my people, they, which lead cause to cause thee to err, right? For the leaders of this people cause them to err, Right are led of them are destroyed. And the Lord, the Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err and every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth and vomit. So brothers and sisters, when you look at these things to err, right? That's why we call error when you do something incorrect. When you do something wrong, we call it error, right? Um, here in Jeremiah 23, it says, And I have set folly in the prophets of Samaria. They have prophesied in Baal, in Baal and caused my, my people Israel. He's talking about believers, brothers and sisters. This is why um, not just this scripture, but hundreds of scriptures talking about how believers, God's people, err. They're not in the truth yet, right? And that is why the... the the uh, tribulation is going to get worse and it to the point until it brings these people to humility so that they will submit themselves unto the Lord, to his word, to his will. Right. And that's what they have found, brothers and sisters, that this blood type has come to the surface and has been revealed in these end days. So I wanted to share that with you. And I want to I want to show you something, brothers and sisters. So this, um, hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that, brothers and sisters. So I wanted to remind people, brothers and sisters, that what we are going out, we know that the word of the Lord is, is being fulfilled. It is happening. And brothers and sisters, to those when it says believe in Jesus Christ, when it talks about believing, part of believing Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, he is the word, right? He is the word made flesh. The word we know is what we call the Bible. It is living, breathing. It is active. Um, it is the most powerful thing. In Psalms, it even says the word is exalted above his name. Okay. Glory to God. And so when it, when when someone says, do you believe in Jesus Christ? That means in order for that to be true, right? Because many of our brothers and sisters say, yeah, I believe. 
I believe in the word, but they don't when you ask them about other things, right? Um, they don't believe in those things. Well, one of those things, brothers and sisters, is an inheritance. And um, that that's part of the covenant. It ties into the covenant. And that inheritance is being made manifest. We are in the beginning stages of those where we are going to see the redemption. We are the we are the ones, right, that are going to enter in Lord willing by his grace and by his mercy. We are going to enter into that inheritance. And the inheritance is the promised land, brothers and sisters. OK, and this goes back to thousands of years ago when the father promised um something to our forefather abraham right that's where yeshua jesus christ came from he came from that lineage and abraham was who he was because he had faith when god told him something he believed into in that now i want to give you i want to share a scripture with you colossians 3 23 24 whatever you do work heartily as for the lord and not for men knowing that from the Lord you will receive an inheritance as your reward. Brothers and sisters, the other day when we when we laid our body down as a living sacrifice because we love our Father and we love others, we did a fast. We lifted up a fast unto the Lord, and it was pleasing in His sight. It was pleasing unto Him. Back then, they would have an altar, and they would do sacrifices but the reason why they see this altar, this tabernacle is being raised back up again, and it is made manifest in the temple of the children of God, where as they go through groanings and trials, tribulations, sacrifices and offerings, these things get laid out onto that altar and the Lord finds these things acceptable because why? Why is, is are these things that the children of El Elyon Adonai why are what they doing so acceptable and what was happening back then most a lot of time wasn't acceptable because Christ has transformed our heart to where we love like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we love our enemies we do good to those who persecute us we forgive other people this is Christ being made manifest in our lives. And it's not because we are so righteous because we have done it. The Lord paved this way. He showed us what to do. So if we are not the author and the originator of this, all the glory goes to God, right? And that should be your number one to desire is to glorify the Lord, okay? And so we have... Um, when when we did that 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 fast, brothers and sisters, not for ourselves but for others, that is what the word would consider working heartily. We did it with our hearts. It came from a pure place in our heart, and this is all made possible through the the sacrifice that our Lord made for Him on Cal. Well, that that our Lord made for us on Calvary. All glory be to the Lamb of God forever and ever. So. These are the kind of works that we are called to do. And the spirit moves in us to, to do these things. And to finish the scripture, it says, this is the spirit with which our, our volunteer. Oh, no, I think this is a, this is just another part. It says, this is the spirit in which our volunteers serve both in the U.S. and abroad and their efforts and it, it is their efforts, prayer, and love that keep us going. So that wasn't a, a part of scripture, but as what they wrote on this um, this article about this scripture. But um, brothers and sisters, you know, this is such a beautiful picture. And of course, this scripture, when the Lord was washing their um, feet, it was about, unless you let me wash you, you have no part in me. And brothers and sisters, pray that the Lord would wash. Let us pray in agreement. Heavenly Father, we pray that we and all of our brothers and sisters, would, that we would be washed by you and that we would have a humble and contrite heart and spirit and allow you to wash us. And um, so this was about the Lord washing us, but also brothers and sisters, this is, um, let, let, let's remember brothers and sisters that we are servants, that we are to serve 
uh, uh, our brothers and sisters, we are to serve Abba Father first and foremost. And by serving, serving Abba Father, we serve others, but we also serve mankind. That is the role of people who are in Christ. That is why laying our body down as a living sacrifice and making offerings out because the motive that they come from in our heart is out of love and that is pleasing unto the Lord and that is only done by our Lord and by the sacrifice that he made and so I wanted to share that with you but um brothers and sisters believing in Um, believing part of believing in in Christ is um is when you say you believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that means that you believe in the promises of God. You believe in His inheritance, and that is what we are in the process, brothers and sisters, of inheriting. And um, yes, it is a physical the what the Lord promised our people was a physical inheritance and brothers and sisters there's already people that are um you know like people in Ethiopia they have been moving over to that land because they are um they have that see when you partake in Christ and he is in you those things that lay dormant that lay real tiny tiny little small percentages in your blood come to life and the spirit that's in you transforms you so brothers and sisters those who are in christ they are genetic they are part of god's family when jesus says um i will be in you and you will be in me that is it also yes it's spiritual but it's a physical thing as well brothers and sisters it can't that can't be true it that can't be true, brothers and sisters, fully unless it becomes physical, too. And so his spirit and partaking in our Lord changes us molecularly, and we will inherit that land, brothers and sisters. And right now, we're in the beginning process of it, and it's taking place spiritually, but soon after the tribulation, brothers and sisters, it states in many part of the word that we will inherit that land, that land, all the borders and everything that the Lord was talking about all the way from the river in Egypt, all the way up into Israel. Our people are going to inherit that and that has already begun. And those who are scattered abroad, it is happening spiritually right now that land is also inside of us right and that evil the evil that was in the land right that's why they went out to spy out the land and they made war against the sons of anarchy all the e those evil um entities those evil people those evil nephilim get driven out of the land and that's what's happening inside of our temple so brothers and sisters take up arms Take up your arms. You have power and authority over all the strength of the enemy and use that two-edged sword in your hand, right? Read Psalms 149, brothers and sisters. You have access to a two-edged sword and, lit and, and come up against the forces of darkness. Come up against those evil spirits and drive them out of the land in the spirit. Believe in those things. Pray in those things. Do those things. And... Um, you will take back the land. The Lord is with you, brothers and sisters. Don't be, don't be those, those people, those Israelites who br brought back a bad report. The Lord is with us. And those who believe, those who are like Joshua and Caleb and Moses, those are the lines. That's the first fruit line of kings and priests. And, and that doesn't just mean males. In Christ, there is neither male nor female. It is tr truly Christ. And so, because a priest, what does a priest do? They bring offerings unto the Lord. There are women and men who bring offerings to the Lord. It is not a male or female role. God's children are both. They're a line of priests. They bring offerings to the Lord through their service, through their life unto the Lord. And they do it because they love the Lord. And so, 
Take up your sword, brothers and sisters. Pursue the enemy. Drive them out of the promised land. And it's going to take in place here. It's going to take place here. But after the tribulation, brothers and sisters, those who are here, those who are alive and remain, those who are raised up, they are going to inherit the actual literal promised land. And to not believe that, brothers and sisters, is to reject the word of God. See, this is what this is cognitive dissonance that a lot of our brothers and sisters and our family members have. They believe, they say, yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ. And in their mind, they think that they fully believe. But brothers and sisters, many of the things, they don't keep his word. They don't keep his commandments. They don't do what he told us to do. They don't forgive their enemies. They don't take up the cause of the widow and the poor. They don't do so many. They don't do so many things. And that's so they say it with their mouth, right? Oh, yeah. Remember what the Lord said? Many say in my, will say in that day, Lord, Lord, haven't I done this? And he says, get away from me. I never knew you. So I wanted to share this with you, brothers and sisters. I want to share with you something else, too. Brothers and sisters, this happened the other day. This is Katy Perry, and look what happened. Pass 2023 flight date. Brothers and sisters, Katy Perry's right eye had a spat like spasms or something in it and her right eye closed down while she was being recorded on this remember in katie perry's music videos when she's all decked out in this horish stuff and she rides out on these animals and she looks like the the woman the whore in babylon that is be that is um that is going to be judged and that's what she represents brothers and sisters i want to show you something do you see this bra thing that she has on? It's crushed. It, it's it's like what it's supposed to be is a can that got crushed. And that's what is around her breasts. I want to show you what she said, brothers and sisters. Katy Perry on Instagram. Welcoming all my flat earthers, spaces, fakers, birds aren't realers, sky isn't bluers. Come see my broken dull eye party trick IRL in Vegas next year. This show set list is a fun ride. That's the symbol here, ride. Though through memory lane, going all the way back to 2008, a time when we weren't all frozen by paranoia of our own echo chambers. This show is a nonstop party about finding unconditional love and strangely for me, not political at all. Heck, I pour beer out of my breast. That's a party trick, too. I don't actually la lactate hop, silly goose. Hope to sing along with you in 2023. And we'll drink. This one's on me. Remember, brothers and sisters, the cup of the wine of wrath that she will that that the whore of Babylon will drink. That's what this is talking about, brothers and sisters. The whore, the that spirit that's in this country, the beast system, and those who love it, they're gonna partake in that wrath. This is what she is telling in the spirit. She doesn't know this stuff with intention, but that's what she that's what her desire is. And it says she it says the whore will drink of the cup of wine of wrath, the cup of wine of wrath. What is beer, brothers and sisters? It's a it's an alcohol. It's like wine, right? In Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter one, um, um, actually, hold on. It was where was it at? Oh, um, hold on. Oh yeah, the great city. Remember, we've been talking about Revelation. It says the great city was split in three parts and the cities of the nations fell. Babylon, the great, great was remembered before God to give her the cup of the wine of his fierce wrath. And that's what the Lord has been saying, brothers and sisters, that the whore and, and all the wicked, they're going to drink of this cup. And next year, brothers and sisters, it is going to be crazy, intense storms economic failures, um, different types of flooding, um, fires, all these things. Brothers and sisters, do you know 
This came out the other day. Look at this. California, which is the physical manifestation of the spirit of fornication, has been de has seen devastating bouts of drought and record-breaking wildfires in the last several years. From 2011 to 2020, a combination of fire and drought and drought-related bark beetle, beetle infestations killed 30% of the forest. Brothers and sisters, remember what um, what is said in Revelation, okay? Remember what it is said, a third of the trees, right? The first angel sounded his trumpet and hail and fire mixed with blood or hurled down upon the earth. A third of the trees were burned up. That's what it's saying. They said 30% and a third, of course, is 33%, 33.3%. But brothers and sisters, look at all these trees. See, a lot of people, brothers and sisters, that don't have they they don't understand things fully yet yeah, they they're 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 led by their own intellect and their own perception brothers and sisters this tree that's all brown is burned up when it when these scriptures talk about the grass brothers and sisters that doesn't mean that every blade of grass and all the earth at the same time is burned and it could just be a part of the see Brothers and sisters, these scriptures in Revelation, a lot of people don't understand that they have been being fulfilled and they are being fulfilled. And we are very, we are a lot further into these things than people understand. Why in the book of Revelation, when it talks about all these cataclysms happening, that it says they did not repent because they're these scripts, they know about the scriptures, but they're not manifesting in the way that they thought, right? And so these scriptures are being fulfilled. Brothers and sisters, do you know what a, um, a sword back then, you know that a weapon, a, a gun is the equivalent to a sword. In the prophecies, in the word of God, it says the young men will have a sword in the street. And I don't exactly remember what one, um, but remember in Ezekiel 21, the Lord gave me um, just recently, um, talking about uh, a sword being in in the land right and this this kid from chicago went into a gas station in um florida brothers and sisters and he brought a sword why did this happen why did what moved him to do this is because the spirit that sword is in the spirit it's moving in the spiritual and it's moving people to do these things a gun is a is is another form of what a sword was back then and he's just carrying it around in this gas station like it's nothing that is because the word of the lord is being fulfilled and many people because when they read the scriptures, they think, oh, you know, they, they perceive it like, oh, when all these things are happening, you're not even going to be able to go outside and all this and that. And brothers and sisters, there will be, there is um, other, there is, it is going to get to the point where judgment is going to be like that. But they're missing the spiritual fulfillment, the spiritual manifestation of this right now. They don't see that these scriptures are being fulfilled. And yes, it is going to get worse. But many think that these things haven't even started, that the seals haven't even broken, that the um, that these things haven't happened yet. And that's not true, brothers and sisters. That's very and and what Katy Perry ha did in this video, brothers and sisters, how she's wearing a bra. Um, I mean, that's disgusting and ridiculous. A bra with crushed beer cans. This is the whore. Remember how all of the, um, how a lot of the celebrities, they do the right eye closed. That's what this is represent. Brothers and sisters, the spirit closed her eye and she couldn't do it for everybody to see that the judgment of the woman, the judgment of the whore I should say the judgment of the whore and all those brothers and sisters. It's not just the whore. It's those who have the spirit of the whore in them. 
that judgment is kind of, it has already begun and now brothers and sisters it's going to manifest more and more but if you brothers and sisters no matter how bad it gets no matter what what is happening brothers and sisters always remember in the promises of god those who don't those who do not endure to the end brothers and sisters you got to endure to the end and brothers and sisters there's many there's many people who are believers that are not fully tr true first fruits brothers and sisters and the lord is still having them do stuff he is having them bring work but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that in the last day the there um the lord is going to say um you know come in and and i know you that doesn't mean that they are sealed right and that's the point brothers and sisters that's the biggest point of this tribulation is as things get worse those who are not who think that they're in the truth who suffer from this cognitive dissonance they're going to get brought to a place where eventually they break brothers and sisters and that is going to be the time when they repent but it is they're 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 so deceived by their own way, their own thinking that they don't see it yet. So keep on praying for them. Don't hate them for this. Don't look, recognize them for what it is and that the Lord is still going to use them to bring to, to bring people in uh, to give messages to other people as well. OK, so the Lord is still using them and, and is going to continue to do so. But brothers and sisters, pray, pray about these things. And um, always remember, brothers and sisters, remember this. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah one. Remember what it says. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. And that's what is happening here, brothers and sisters. The sword is going out and it's slain even the wicked and the righteous. Those who follow the commandment, those who even, because that sword, if they're not sealed with Christ, that sword is still going to affect them. It's still going to cut them asunder. Okay. And that, brothers and sisters, that is not the Lord being mean. This is what people choose. The Lord is not being mean by giving them what they choose and do not let the enemy steal your crown, brothers and sisters, because you're going to be we are all going to be presented with very many trials and tribulations and sufferings. But we have to endure. We have to hold on to our crown, hold on to that love and continue to handle things in the way of Christ, not in the way out of reacting out of our flesh. And that's what the Lord is getting us ready for, brothers and sisters. If you notice. A lot of us, even though we feel sick, even though it says that we are being handed over to the power of the enemy for a short time, but the Lord is doing, so, brothers and sisters, there's a reason why the Lord is doing that. It's to purge us, to refine us, and that to see whether that true overcomer is really in us, brothers and sisters. So I want to encourage you with this word today. This is true. It is accurate. It is not of me. It is of the Holy Spirit. And take these things to the Lord. I God, God bless each and every one of you guys. I love you guys. In Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ's mighty name, I love you. Amen.